Hey guys, uh, today I've got a 2008 Volkswagen Jetta with the 2.5 liter in it. I don't think that really matters. Uh, today I'm going to replace the parking brake cables. Uh, the handbrake is rationing all the way up uh, and there is no holding the, uh, the brakes aren't holding. The, the vehicle in place. Uh, the other reasons that you could be replacing these uh, cables could be the cables themselves are seized or uh, maybe maybe they've stretched. I, I believe in this case the cables have stretched. So we're going to take it apart and find out what's going on with it. Uh, in any case, I'm going to replace the cables just because I'm going to be right there uh, anyway. So let's get to it. All right, so first I'm going to have to remove these two screws uh, hidden in the back of the center console. Oh yeah, by the way, we need to remove the center console first uh, to gain access to the end of the the one end of the parking brake cables. So let's remove these. I believe they're uh, T20 Torx bits. So I'm going to remove that first and I'll bring it right back. Okay, once you get the uh, that bezel off, there are two more T20 uh, screws here that you need to remove. So I'm going to get that off and I'll bring it right back. Okay, there's also a Phillips under the armrest here. Okay, so you you pop off you pop off this little uh, square cover, and then you'll have a, a Phillips screw that's exposed there. So you got to remove that as well. And that was actually a Phillips or a Torx. I mean, it's a T20 again. Uh, what was I thinking? It's a German car, so they like to use Torx heads instead. Okay. All right, with a little bit of prying with one of these guys, your plastic trim tool, trim removal tool, you, and a little bit of persuasion, you pull this uh, piece off and set it to the side, and then you should be left with this. Okay, and then, and then right on the side here we have two more T20 Torx bit, uh, screws on the side. Once we remove that, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so once you get these uh, screws out, then you can lift this, you can lift this piece off, but uh, make sure you have the handbrake uh, lever pulled up enough that you can get this up and cleared cleared out uh, toward the front there. So I'm gonna take that out and I'll be right back. All right, next we got a, another Torx screw right down there. So we remove that and I think we should be able to remove the, the rest of the center console. I will uh, remove it and double check that. All right, guys, there was actually a few more screws, uh, more than I thought. So there's one right here, another T20 there. There's another T20 there, and another T20 hidden right there in the front, right by the lever, okay? So you gotta remember to take those out as well, and then and then you can pull it out. So I'm gonna pull it out and I'll bring it right back. All right guys, so instead of um, finagling with this uh, center console, I decided to just wedge a two by four in here to keep it up. Because now I have access to the parking brake cables and I'll just work work like this from here on to uh, to get the job done. Okay, so next we're going to unhook these cables and you could 
simply just grab uh, a pair of side cutters or needle nose pliers and just um, uh, uh, release the uh, release the cable. You have to get it out of this bracket here. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Okay, the the cables are removed from this bracket. And now we go under the car and um, uh, release release the cables from the calipers. Okay, so I'm going to jack up the car and I'll bring it right back. Alright, so once you got the wheel off the back, then we, we go to the... Uh, the cable end uh, where the caliper is and we unhook it in this case there is no tension on this so it's easy peasy just unhook it there then there's uh, these locking tabs on this part where you need to release it so that it'll come out and then unhook the um, these clips that hold the cables and you can see here the uh, the installation is broken off and it's it's old then we go down then we go down here underneath the vehicle and you're going to unhook any sort of uh, hangers or brackets that's holding the cable and then you pull this through and then there's one uh, there's one hanger here and uh, you should be home free so I'm gonna take I'm gonna unhook everything take remove the cable on the left side and uh, I'll bring you right back all right so to unhook these uh, locking pins you simply just grab a pair of pliers. I have a needle nose where you, I, I just use my needle nose and I pinch these inward and pull forward and uh, they get they're released. So that's how you do that. Okay. Okay, so the old cable is out uh, and I have the new one here. It's the Dorman. And here's the part, uh, the part number. And I'm still going to measure it up, make sure it's the same length, make sure it's going to work before putting it in because you ne you still never know with these aftermarket parts. Okay guys, so uh, on the right side I was having a little bit of trouble um, hooking up the cable back onto the caliper. So what you need to do is to back off this adjusting nut. Uh, till you're able to uh, hook up the uh, the cable and then uh, readjust the the cables so that uh, they'll release and uh, when you release the 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 handle the lever that the wheels spin spin freely and when you pull on the lever and uh, add tension to the cables that the wheel will hold okay so uh, you'll just have to uh, test it and feel for it to, to see what where the best adjustment is and uh, I'll finish that up and I'll bring it right back okay guys so I just kept adjusting the cables till I had a slight bit of drag on the wheels in the uh, full release position of the parking brakes all right and then and then you make sure that you get about five clicks one two three four five five to seven clicks okay and then you should be okay uh, and then the rest is just putting your back together uh, and there you have it okay guys and that's a wrap for this one and I will see you in the next video